Hey, Randy Hunter here from BeginningSax.com. In this Jazz Sax Quick Licks and Tips video, I want to show you a, an exercise that will help reinforce some of the fundamentals of learning to play jazz saxophone. That's first of all learning your major triads. It's very important to know your major triads and it's also important to know how to practice things in all keys around the circle of fourths. So we're going to do a little thing that will um, take you through this. So um, we're going to start with, um, well we're going to use, first of all let me just mention we're going to use two inversions of the major triad. One, three, five, three on D, that's D, F sharp, A, F sharp. <laughs> And we'll also use one, five, three, five. And on D, that's D, A, F sharp, A. And uh, we're gonna, you're gonna have the freedom to select which one of these um, inversions you want to use on each chord as you approach it. And our objective is going to be to kind of stay in the middle of the horn, not to get into too much into the extreme ranges right now. So I'm going to start with D, D, F sharp, A, F sharp, one, three, five, three. The next chord in the circle of fourths is G, so I'm gonna I'm on a low G, so I think I'll do one three five three on G as well. That's G B D B. Now I'm up to C, and again I think I'll go one three five three on C. That's C E G E. Now. My next chord is F, and I'm starting to get towards the upper register of the horn. I mean, I could go on up. It would be no big deal. But um, I think I'll go ahead and use our descending inversion. That's one, five, three, five, F, C, A, C. So to recap where we're at to this point, D, one, three, five, three, G, one, three, five, three, C, one, three, five, three. F, one, five, three, five. Now, I might not end up doing this exact sequence of tones every time I run around the pattern. I might go different directions. Um, so keep in mind you're going to have that freedom as you practice. So now we just did F. One five uh, one five three five F C A C. I'm to B flat. I could either go up one three five three, or I could go down one five three five. I think I'll go down. E flat. Now I don't have a lot of options on E flat. I'd run out of real estate on the instrument if I tried to go down. So I'm on low E flat. I have to go up one three five three. I'm to A flat. I think I'll go up on A flat, otherwise I'll be getting awfully low on the instrument. D flat, I could go either direction. Maybe I'll go down this time. F sharp, I'll go up because I don't want it up at the very bottom of the instrument. B. E. A. And there I'm home on D. Now, I actually ended up on D an octave above where I started, so I might run the pattern again starting on D and, and intentionally try to take a different journey as I work around the keys. So there, I just went through all 12 keys again. All right, pretty fun pattern, and uh, and it's a good one for just reinforcing your triads and the circle of fourths. All right, now, enjoy that one in your practice room, but also be sure to visit my website, beginningsax.com, and check out my complete jazz improv lesson series, and I've also got a complete set of beginning saxophone lessons there. Again, that's beginningsax.com. Hope to hear from you soon.